Hi Jane, sorry I'm late. I just took Sarah for her MMR vaccination. Gosh, you're brave. We decided not to give Sasha hers. Really? I am surprised. Why would you not get her vaccinated? Well, I never really understood all about vaccines. And you hear all these stories about side effects. A vaccine is just an injection of a harmless form of a pathogen. It allows your white blood cells to identify, and make antibodies to, the virus or bacteria without exposure. How does that help? The plasma cells that make the antibodies take at least a week to develop on first encounter. That means you can get quite ill before the body kills it. But they then become memory cells, which stay in your blood. They spring into action if you later meet the real pathogen, so you don't get ill. Right. So you have immunity to the disease. But measles mumps and rubella are not that common these days. They are not common because of the immunization program. Immunization is only effective if most of the population have it done. I think you should, take Sasha in. Measles, mumps and rubella are all nasty diseases that can cause serious illness. But what about side effects? The vaccination could damage Sasha more than the measles virus would. There is always a risk. In terms of the population, the MMR vaccination does much less harm than the diseases do. There was a scare, a while back with a suggested link to autism. A scientist reported a link, and some of the newspapers gave it loads of publicity, but since then the work has been identified as misleading. So Sasha will be okay? I didn't say that. There is a small risk that she could have a severe reaction to any vaccination. And there are rare cases where children die after a vaccination. OMG. But statistically she is much more likely to be harmed by the diseases if she is not vaccinated, than harmed by the vaccination. It is a really difficult decision. How can I make that choice? It is hard. The government's medical experts recommend the vaccination, but they have to look at society as a whole. For society it is better. But for an individual it might not be. How did you make the choice? I decided that if Jane got ill, from either taking or not taking the vaccine, I would be more comfortable saying I followed medical advice, than saying I ignored it. Yes, I can see your point. Having said that, I am not so sure about the flu vaccines. They do not even guarantee you don't get flu. Why would they not work? The flu virus is known to mutate regularly, so a new mutation with different antigens might infect you and your memory cells would not recognize it. I do think that those at high risk, such as the elderly, should have it, but not everyone. But what about your argument that most of the population needs to have it to make it effective? You're quite right. I have dismissed my own argument. That just goes to show what a moral dilemma this is. I think I need this coffee more than I thought. Cheers.